you, welcome to Geekism, and welcome to Biotope Aquarium Simulator. So, uh, this is just a first look video, we're just going to be doing a one-off video this one, it's going to be quite a short video as well, I think, to be honest with you, uh, and you'll see why in a moment, I have played through this a little bit already. Uh, developers got in touch with me, thank you very much to them for providing me with a key, and um, they got in touch saying we saw you play Mega Aquarium and saw that you enjoyed that thought you might be able to give this a go and uh, it is similar to Mac Aquarium in as much as there are fish in it and that's probably where the simulation uh, similarities even end. Uh, this is, although it calls itself an aquarium simulator, think of this more as a fish tank simulator uh, rather than having people come in and out and pay money and stuff. This is more of a uh, sort of an ecosystem kind of game. You are building a fish tank and making sure that it's all running nicely. Um, so yeah, it's one of those more sort of like chill out games I guess, more sort of like fun game uh, you know you're playing for the for the for the enjoyment of playing as opposed to uh you know scoring goals and things like that although there are uh, there are quests to do um i'm going to briefly tell you through the tutorial tank just to kind of really show you what there is to do uh we're going to start off we're going to install a filter so here we go I literally have a tank here and it's all about making sure that our tank is sorted and and people are happy well fish are happy i suppose so we've got us we've got a filter here already we're going to come and pop it up in the in the corner there and that'll uh that'll kick in momentarily um we have to turn it on you see so we go to info control and turn it on and off it trots getting out some uh, nice filtration there uh the other main thing you need is a heater is that what we're gonna do no we're gonna do a background first okay so we have a background yes we have a, a stone relief background there we go look at that Graphics are great. The idea is uh, that the way they're touting this is to make it the uh, the most sort of realistic looking fish possible. Uh, so now we're going to go to the store and we're going to buy some uh, decorative stones. Okay, so we need to buy five decorative stones. So you'll see that some are locked. Uh, here we have to level up to get these and to level up by fulfilling certain uh, things. So to start off with, we've got pretty, pretty plain stones available. We'll get a selection of them. Uh, four... That and then that one as well. Five, how's that? There we go. Uh, we've got 155 euros in the bank. Uh, now we need to buy five plants. Uh, plants, here we go. Okay, so we've got a bit of a selection here. So I used to keep tropical fish back home in the UK. Uh, obviously, couldn't get them on the airplane, so I had to uh, move them along before we, uh, before we left. Uh, it was something I would like to do again, although it just take a hell of a lot of your time, so maybe this is going to fill the gap for me. We would like a taller grass. There we go, tape grass. That's perfect. Let's get two of them. And we'll have a couple of um, found warts and then maybe a, a seed box is the fourth one. They're, they're usually a bit smaller, those. Uh, okay, happy with that. What's next to do? Uh, buy some fish. Okay. So, there's not a huge selection of fish, to be honest, to start off with. This game obviously still is in early access, but, um, yeah, so far it's mostly things like um, cichlids and, and tetras and guppies, really. There's a few sort of larger discus fish and, and angels down here, but to start off with, we're looking at tetras. I'm going to go for neon tetras, the classics. Uh, we'll buy, it says to buy five. Can we buy ten? Because, you know, you don't have five. Who has five tetras? You meant to have, like, ten, twenty, twenty of them. Like, a big tank of them. Uh, oh, and then we need a heater, of course. We want a 150 watt heater. This is an 80 centimeter tank. It's about a, about a 120 litre tank, I guess. Uh, well done. You finished this part of the tutorial. Uh, we're rocking it. So I'm assuming the next part is to put the stuff in. Yeah. So we can now come down to here. We can zoom around a little bit. We come into our rocks. Now, the only thing I haven't noticed so far is a way to rotate stuff. Um, if that is an, is an ability, I, I'm not too sure. It's interesting to see that the, there is... Um, See, that's quite a nice big one there that can probably sit on its own. Uh, there is physics. Oh, that's a big one as well. Look at that. There is physics, which is interesting. There we go. So we'll put that down there like that. Uh, we don't particularly need uh, cave space at the moment. We haven't really got anything that caves. We've, well, in fact, we've just got some tetras. So, oops. We don't really need anything that, you know, something like a placostomus or something like that. Um... Okay, Ta uh, plants next. Good. Real plants are always good for tanks. They provide aeration. And, um, and that one's actually going through the glass. Uh, but aeration and all that sort of stuff. So they're, they're well worth getting. Oh, we've got a big one and a little one. That's interesting. I didn't, did we pick that or is it random? I guess it's random. Uh, let's see about these. Do we have a big one and a little one of these? Oh, no, they're identical. 
Okay, so we have one of those up close. And one of them a bit further back, is that. And then this one can sit... Uh, oh, that's a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. And this one sits here. I love natural plants in the tank. Loads of plants. It's all good for fish. Uh, a heater can go... Um, oh, has it just gone straight in, has it? I'll press keep it at the back. Try to get that things out of the way, really. Uh, oh, what are we going to do next? Uh, activate the heater. Okay, I will. If I control heater on. Um, we want to set it to about 23. Uh, oh, it says 25 there. Okay, so 25. A little warmer than I would have thought, but that's fine. Uh, look at that. What a lovely looking tank. Start uh, awake condition. So activate time warp and wait until the water temperature has reached at least 20 degrees. Ah, okay. So how do I know what water temperature we're on at the moment? Temperature is 18, so... Oh, there we go. Time warp. That was like a speed up, was it? Uh, let's have a look out. Uh, 10,000 times fast forward. Wow, okay. Uh, now we can get some fish in there because it's warm enough. Let me just click and drag. Yes, there we go. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Here we go. Let's stick them all in there. Boom. Turn that off so we can see them. They'll all hang around. Oh, here they are, look. They're all hanging. Uh, and we can feed them, of course. Navigate to the medications menu and find the fish food. Drag it to your tank and select the amount of 0.2 grams. Okay. Uh, 2 grams. There we go. Apply. And we fed them. I don't actually see any flakes or anything, but it says it's done. You collect experience and have reached level 1. Don't forget to regularly feed your fish. Of course, feed them every day. Quest completed tutorial quest. There we go. We've got fish. Are they? Oh, it looks like they are going for food. Look, they're all hanging out up at the top there. there. Must be some. Oh yeah, look. Is that food or are they? I don't know. They're just a couple of tetras. Okay. I think if we, I would say, if we hold down space, we can see them all. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at that little hanger out of there. Normally, tetras normally shoal, so. It seems like they have shoaling mechanics built in. Apart from a couple of straight... You always get the odd straight one, though. It's like, whatever, do me own thing. So I think uh, it goes quite in-depth with this. You know, there's water changes and nitrates and nitrites and all that kind of thing. If you know about keeping fish, you'll know about this sort of stuff. Um, but for now, let's have a look. Is there, like, quests we can do? Uh... I think there's... Is it this one here? Here we go. Time Warp. Available. If you are impatient to see how things develop in your tanks, use the Time Warp feature, but be careful. If your tank is unbalanced, things can get out of control quickly when Time Warp is active. Okay, so let's accept that quest. And we just have to turn Time Warp on? Conditions. Have two fish in the same tank. Two plants. Time lapse mode is activated. And hold them for 30 seconds. Okay. Should be fine. We've just 10 little tetras in there. They ain't going to do much bad. We haven't fed them for like three days though. Can we can we feed them still while we're um, while we're in time lapse mode? I'm going to press pause. We completed time warp. Okay. Okay. Experience points gained 10. Nice. Okay. So let's just make sure these these guys are all happy. All right. Um, let's come out of there. Let's have a look at our fish. So if we click on one of these sections, health 100, stress. Oh, they're quite stressed. They have a bit of saturation. So we've got too many of them, is what it's telling me, I think. Uh, or is that water saturation? Is there a way we can see. Ah, uh, here we go. Um, so the levels are still all pretty low, I think. Fish low, 0.9 grams. Plant low, 6.9. Carbon hardness. I don't, is there a way of saying... Because I don't... These numbers mean nothing to me, to be honest. Is there a way of looking at the actual fish and saying what their numbers are like? Ah, right, here we go. Right, so the pH is a little high for them. But other than that, we're okay. So is that how this works? Then can we go and buy some pH neutralizer or something? There we go. So we've got... Uh, 
Oh, that's plant growth. I haven't got to worry about that. That's uh, ammonia, which we haven't got to worry about, I don't think, at the moment. We need, like, a pH balance. Oh, there we go. The lower... Um, that one lowers that one lowers it, but that's quite intense. Have we got anything a little less? Uh have a look. Without affecting hardness. Uh, oh, that's all a bit advanced. Okay, that seems more like it. Lower carbonate hardness and pH along with it. Okay, so let's buy some of that. One dosage per 100 litres of water will lower KH by about 1.5 degrees. Okay, so let's put some of that in then. See if we can get the uh, get the pH down a little. Do we do that here? Uh, so, what, so 5 mil for every 100 litres, yeah? So we'll do 5.5. And let's find a fish. See if he's there. We go. pH has come down there. That's good. Everything else they're happy with. All right. So let's have a look at our uh, our quests. Then is there something else we can do? Happy fish. Ha fish are happy if their stress level is less than twenty. Keep a fish. Uh, keep at least five fish in one of your aquariums and make sure they are happy for five days. Now these are currently sitting a little high. I don't really know why. Unless it's just that I didn't feed them. See, they've got stress level of zero now. Oh, they're all happy, happy, happy. Okay, so let's accept that quest then. Accept it. Grandpa's favourite. Your grandpa asked you to set up a tank with four famous submarine models. Get those models from the accessory section of the store and place them in one tank. Uh, all right, we can put some submarines in. I'll be honest with you, in real life, I'm not a huge fan of those kind of... Feel I, I prefer natural uh, things, to be honest. Happy fish conditions there we go hold them for five in game days time okay so that's just that's just cracking on i'll feed them again because it says day five there and i'm pretty sure last time we fed them was day two uh, day four even they're all going up to get some grub right so look at the store then uh shall here yeah, this kind of stuff is it this is fake stuff okay so submarine models So, <laughs> okay, anchor, anchor. Who's an anchor? A piece of wood bark, whorl, wooden bath, wood. No, I can't speak. Wooden barrel, wooden barrel balls, uh, pirate coins. They're pretty neat. Horseshoe, life ring, hollowed trunk, starfish, terra shell. Submarine model. They want, they want to put four of them or four of them down. Level two required. We're well, not level two. We're level one. Pirate chest and pirate chest. And what's this one here? Rock formation. What's man? That looks quite nice. That sort of thing is sort of thing I would probably go for in real life. All right. So we're not going to do. We're not going to do. Uh, I, do you know what then? Let's, I want to use. Uh, let's get some more fish. Can we, I think we could do is selling a couple of these tetras. It's saying our saturation level's a bit high. Can we move to container? Uh, oh, was that a plant I just moved? It was, wasn't it? The saturation level's not changing on that. Interestingly. Um, yeah, it was a plant I did look by accident. Yeah, let's put you back in there. So, but I think we can come up to here. I noticed a cell button. There we go. Um, health 100, stress 0. There we go. That's made us like $3. Uh, so let's have a look then. We've got some Black Widow Tetras. Um, they're pretty, you know, Tetras for the most part. Are, oh, it says here, like Peaceful. I was going to say Tetras here are pretty... Easy to keep. A kick lid. No, kick lids can be a little bit aggressive. Yeah, they can usually kick off, so we'll keep away from them for now. Oh, same as that one, like a Serpi Tetra, and I heard that one before. Black Neons are fine. All these are fine, but they all look identical, so I'm not going to bother with them. Guppies, they're pretty easy to keep. Um, 
we can choose male or female because if you have too many males, they kick off on each other. So that's male. So we'll have one male and then we'll have four females. And we'll go for we'll go for a couple of black widow tetras as well. There we go, and see how we get on with those. That, that's quite a few fish there. I mean, they're all small fish, but... Uh, one thing I'd recommend in real life is not adding this many fish in one go. But I don't think it'd be too much of a problem with this. There we go. Now, they all look identical, interestingly. The, 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 in real life, the men have uh, fancy tails. There we go, so slightly larger fish there is going in as well. That's good, and we probably best to feed them. Uh, which one's feeding that while we were, we were in the menu already, weren't we? There we go, and feed, and we'll, we'll feed them a little higher. There we go. Now, Tank looks alright to me. I thought he was dead then, that one. It looked really swimming around funny. There we go, look at that. There's your saturation. I don't know what saturation means. I thought that I assumed that would be how much... Oh, guppies are stressy. Let's have a see why guppies are stressy. Um, their pH could come up a little bit. Okay, what can we buy that will raise pH a little? Uh, bacteria booster contain that. That's uh, that 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 brings ammonia and nitrate down. I'm going to worry about that just yet. I don't think um, that's plants. That's ammonia. That's putting ammonia in. Can be used to lower pH. That lowers pH. Increases mm. without affecting hardness. And that's lowering pH as well. So I think pH just naturally rises. Maybe we um, we can get some of this stuff here to bring the ammonia down. Let's see what the ammonia levels are like. Uh, that's that one, isn't it? Here we go. See, I'm out now, I'm only, there's still nothing. So, you just have to be a little stressy, I'm afraid, guppies. Until the pH rises a little, which it should do, as as you all poo. I bet you, are you alright? Yeah, you're fine, look. You're smashing it, you're in all the right numbers. So, 46 days, they will become mature, and they can, and I think as long as their stress levels are low, they can, they can get, they can get jiggy. So, let's just run the game forward a little bit and see if anything particular happens. So that, is that just night time? Or is that the tank getting dirty? Yeah, it's just night time. Uh, we have a new quest, Botanist. Besides fish, plants are also useful for an aquarium. Plants produce oxygen and look good while doing so. Keep five plants in one of your aquariums and make sure their stress level is below 20% for five days. I'm going to accept that quest. I didn't even realise that plants had a stress level. They have high stress levels. What are, you, what are you fussed about? Your pH is a little high. And your temperature is a little high as well. Well, do you know what? I thought temperature was a little high for most of our fish. Uh, yeah, so we can act, we can knock the temperature down a little, I think. So tw I'm sure I used to have mine at 23. How do you feel about temperature being 23? Yeah, you should be fine with that. Okay, so how do we check that? Uh, which one was that? Info? No. Oh, it was this one, wasn't it? Temperature 25. Let's let's watch the temperature come down a little. Okay. So so neons are fine. Black widows are fine. Guppies are now fine as well. So what was is that just the pH rose a little? Yeah, there we go. Okay, good stuff. Temperatures come down. Fish uh, tape grass is fine. I can't imagine stones have got. Stress levels. Oh, fan wars is stressed. What's your issue? Your pH is a little high now. 
Oh, I think probably then we're going to have to lose the fan war because surely the trees, the, uh, the, the fish are the more important thing. So let's move the fan warts to a container. Not the tape grass, the fan wart. Move to container. Um, and then we'll come shopping and we'll sell both of those for a couple of quid. And instead, we can buy... Do we have any more plants now? Oh, this one. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, so your temperature... Your your pH is very specific. <laughs> um, I think that one's going to be better. I'm going to buy two of those. And add those in. Because I know they look a little bit all samey now, but... Oh, there we go. Nice little one. That looks good. There we are. So we should have, I think, five plants that are doing good now. Five game game, team, game things, yeah. Uh, at least one submarine model is owned. At least one submarine wreck. All, on, all items placed in the same tank. Meet the deadline for two games a day. Hold continual for three. Meet the deadline in two days game time. Well, we're not going to do that then. Happy fish and botanist. So let's. Can we just cancel that one? Is that does that do it or not? No. Okay. Right. I'm gonna speed up the game for a little. Oh, we haven't fed them for a bit. Let's uh, let's feed our little fishies. There you are. Go get yourself some grub. Guppy and. Uh, Neon Tetra, all their saturation levels are back. Good now. Let's see what happens if it goes daytime. Tank still looks good, right? Okay, there we got a weekly status report. Okay. So we got a budget there. We got we got given some money. Okay. We paid six dollars for electricity. Uh we got no bonus for stress-free animals. We did get a little bit of bonus for them being within green range. I acknowledge that. That's good. So it's quest fail. Yeah, Grandpa's favourite. So we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? Because there was no way we were going to be able to do that. Uh, experience points gained. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Which, what can Grandpa's favourite... We, what on earth happened then? I think it gave me the reward for that, even though, even though we didn't do it. That's that's uh, it might have been a bug. Okay, uh, happy fish. Should oh no, we don't. Have, our plants are stressy. Our tape grass is stressy. What are you stressy about, tape grass? Your pH level is too low. Uh, oh no, hold on, hold on. I struggle with the colours sometimes. Yeah, pH level is too low, but also the temperature is in like a middle... It needs, it needs to be either cold or hot or warm. Well, you yeah, know, forget it. I'm not messing around too much with plants. Okay, so Charles Black. A birthday party in your neighbourhood is coming up tomorrow. Impress the kids by showing off a pirate theme in one of your tanks. Browse your local aquarium store and find the right stuff to finish this quest. Remember, parties tomorrow. At least one set of all of the pirate pieces in a day. Well, that ain't happening, is it? So, never mind. Okay. Uh, right, we're going to leave it there. I, I just wanted to kind of show you this one. I'm interested in this. I, I, I think it's got a bit of a way to go before it's a game. I think it's more of an interesting... Uh, simulation, you know, trying to balance the numbers and stuff, and I think if I wasn't having to record and trying to be interesting and stuff, I'd sit and figure out the nitrates and nitrites a little bit better and all that kind of stuff. I think it's quite a relaxing, chilled out kind of experience. Um, and I like the fact that they tried to gamify it with quests and stuff, but I'm not quite sure that sort of stuff is tailored right yet. Uh, but in the meantime, I think it's great. I think more fish, more stuff. Uh, the ability to rotate items would be pretty good. Um, I think you can... I was going to say bigger tanks, but I think you can get bigger tanks. Yeah, we can go up to a... What's that? 100 up to 120. Massive volume. Like, like quadruple the volume of what we're currently on. So, yeah. That's... Um, 
that's a good thing to do i think eventually you can really sort of spread it out and and obviously more fish that's quite a limiting selection of fish to be honest with you to start off with i'd love to see like placostomuses uh, clown loach they were all some of my favorites clown loaches they're so funny um yeah but you know it's a great start and uh, i'm really really grateful to the developer for getting in touch and uh, it's definitely one we'll probably come back to in the future thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it if you have you can give us a like it really helps out and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe thanks to all of our patrons they make these videos possible through their incredible support at patreon.com slash geekism thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one